Hello, this is Mr. Waterman, and this is Part B of Lesson 11.6, Areas of Regular Polygons. Make sure that you capture the information on this slide in your notes, in particular what's on the left, the area of regular polyga polygons. You're going to want to sketch the diagram and get the definition of a potham down with it labeled on the diagram. Okay, we're moving on to an example on the next page. Going to go ahead and see if we can start finding the area of a regular polygon. So we have a sketch of a of a hexagon here, a regular hexagon, and we also have a new formula that we're going to want to, you to put into your notes. So the area of a regular polygon, any any regular polygon, is one half the apothem times the perimeter. So P here is perimeter. All right. So perimeter is the length all the way around the outside of the polygon. So we have an alternative version of this formula right here, where perimeter has been replaced with two other letters. N is the number of sides of the polygon, and S is the side length. Okay. So one way to find perimeter is to multiply the number of sides times the side length, and so that will give you the perimeter. So in our example here, uh, we're tiling a floor with ceramic regular hexagons. Okay, often tiles do come in regular polygon shapes. Now the side length is eight inches. Okay, so we have S equal to eight. What's the area the tile will cover? So we can go ahead and figure out what the perimeter of this polygon is. We have six sides. All right. So perimeter is going to equal side length, eight, times six sides. 48 inches. The apothem is going to take a little work to get to. They didn't give us the length of the apothem, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and resketch this one triangle out of this regular hexagon so we can see it. I'm going to make it in bigger view. So this is a blown up version of one of the six triangles we have. So, um, the central angle on a hexagon, each one of these central angles is going to be 360 degrees divided by 6, number of sides, so 60 degrees, all right? So each of these angles in here is 60. Now, when we did the last problem on the previous page, we found out, darn it, We found out that this altitude, or the apothem here, excuse me, actually bisects this central angle. Okay, so if this whole angle is 60, then this, each half of that, is going to be 30 degrees. Okay, and if this is a right angle, and that's a 30, and that makes this other angle is 60 degrees. Okay? That's some handy information because we know some ratios for 30, 60, 90 triangles. All right? So, um, since we know the side length is 8, I'm going to just redraw one more time. This half of this triangle, if this whole side length of the triangle is 8, then each piece of this it's going to be four. So we have a four, and we have an apothem that we're trying to find. Okay? Now recall that we have a long, we used to have a ratio. Between the short leg, so our short leg of this right triangle is four, and the long leg is what we're trying to find. 
So we had a ratio on 30, 60, 90 triangles that said the long leg equals the square root of 3 times the short leg. Okay? So if I substitute a 4 in for my short leg, then we're going to find out that this long leg, or our apothem, is going to equal 4 times the square root of 3. Okay? So now we have the two pieces of information we need in order to find the area. We have 48 inch perimeter. We have an apothem. So area of our triangle, or area of the hexagon, excuse me, is going to be one half. Okay. No, you're asking for it. One half the apothem times perimeter. So for this problem, we have one half, and our apothem is going to be four times the square root of three. I know it's an irrational, so it's a little scary. And we also have the perimeter, which is 48 inches. Okay. So given that information, we can now multiply this all up, and we should be able to come up with our area. Okay, I should follow my own rules and simplify downward. Here we go. So if I combine the 48, the 4, and the one half, I will end up with 96 times the square root of 3 for my area. Okay. I can simply leave the answer in terms of square roots of 3, and I've completed the problem. So, a couple other things we want to point out, and then we're going to let you try this for yourself. Um, it turns out that sometimes we're going to give you different pieces of this triangle. So, what you need to know is that there are multiple ways to find the apothem. Sometimes we'll give it to you. Other times, you're always going to be working with some right triangles, so you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. You can use special case right triangles. So, we just use 30, 60, 90. The other one is 45, 45, 90. All right, 30, 60, 90. 45, 45, 90. And thirdly, if all else fails and you have some angles that you don't recognize, you can use trigonometry. All right? So um, that's the end of part B. Thanks for watching.